I'm here to talk about Goal Seek. What I did in this formula here, we have a monthly payment <clears throat> for a college loan over 20 years at four and a quarter percent. This is hypothetical amounts. But let's say you want to figure out you can only afford, let's say, $600 a month when you graduate. You need to extend the period. This is relatively easy to do. Um, you put this where the formula is, where in here. This is just numbers here, okay? And to do this, we go on to the data tab. I'm doing this in Office 2016. It works in any version, okay? Even going back to 2007, even if you have 2003. We go into Goal Seek. And what it is here, we got that window here. It's saying set before. Let's say I want to make it, as I said, $600. I could change any of those three things up above. In here, like if I want to change the cell, the number of years, I say OK. And it's saying I would need 37 years. I'm going to hit the cancel. I'm going to go back into here, what if analysis. Goal seek, and I'm going to make this 600. And I'm going to change the cell where this is here. I could find scholarships or whatever, hopefully, or maybe I have a rich uncle to give me the money. I go and click inside B1. I say, okay, it's $96,000. If I like the result, I say, okay. You can also use it with things like future value, almost anything requiring a formula. I'll just do another quick example. And let's just say I'm talking about utilities or something here. Let's say I have like 55, uh -huh, oops, 100, 350, and let's say 200. They're like utility expenses. I got them added up here. But wait a minute. Let's say I can only afford six fifty a month here. I'm in the goal seek here. What if analysis, goal seek? And I want to change this value to let's say, as I said, six hundred. And I go into here. I could change this thing here, let's say for the electric bill or the insurance bill. Say okay. So it's showing what I have to do. I just hit the cancel button. But it shows you where you can cut down, increase, or whatever.